Wagwan good people, welcome back to What's Happening TV, your one-stop spot for the latest updates in news, entertainment, and sometimes people life. No, this is one of the segments where we are going, you know, talk about people life. The beef we are going between Jada Kingdom and Steph London. Jada Kingdom puts beef to rest with London Bed, aka Steph London. Following the release of her latest entry in her lyrical warfare with Steph London, dancer Singje Jada Kingdom has made it clear that for her, war just done. People, Jada Kingdom said the war just done. In a post made to her Instagram page, the heavy singer explained that she is in a good space and won't be doing anything to mess that up. I'm in a happy and healthy relationship now. I won't be prolonging this nonsense. I said my piece, so me good. Go on, go enjoy on self, Kingdom wrote. So for those who don't know, the clash started between the two after the UK based Steph London, you know, start for True Award at Jada Kingdom via Russian's Dirty Money Instrumental over the weekend. Them man full of girl like down a duff cut your two beggy beggy, your nana ambition, Steph London DJ'd. She first raised the questions over who she was taking aim at, but quickly reworded her entry to mention Jada Kingdom, clearing any confusion. In the early hours of Tuesday, Jada responded with London Bed on the Taliban's instrumental made popular by dancehall star Byron Messiah. Boss a move and meet me anyway. You cord like puss, you know bad from nowhere, Jada rhymed. It is still relatively unclear what led to the tension between the two, but Jada Kingdom alleges that Steph London is beefing over a man. I never know that people still a fight and I, you know, throw a word and a cuss over a man. No, whatever the reason, dancehall fans have enjoyed the exchange between the two artists which jada says is the only reason she responded i only responded for my respect and for the culture she wrote put fun and joke aside though people it no look good enough it no look good for two grown women up on the internet you know back and forth with each other over a man over a man you know it don't look good but me not lied the clash it hot though you know it hot it's steamy remember to hit the like button on this video guys subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification bell more to come don't move a muscle moving right along good people lince did the man get caught up while playing dominoes at a shop a man was booted up while playing a game of dominoes at a shopping golf district near Linstead in St. Catherine last night. He has been identified as a 37-year-old Nigel Ricardo Carty, a farmer of Sunnyside District in Linstead. It is reported that about 8 p.m. Carty and others were playing dominoes at a shop when they were pounced upon by two armed men with fire sticks the armed men then proceeded to buddhudup karti several times he passed away on the stool on which he was sitting his attackers then escaped on foot in the community the police were called to the scene no motive has been established in the fatal buddhuduping and the police are searching for the attackers it was reported that the deceased is the second member of his family to be dropped by armed men in recent months. The St. Catherine North Police Division, in which Linstead is located, accounted for 120 droppings in 2023. This kind of sound like some reprisal dropping, you know, because if the deceased 
was there with others, but he was the only one targeted. Without that telling the people, now, some kind of reprisal, them know exactly who them are going for and them have them reason. But uh, condolences to this young man's family. Remember to hit the like button on this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell. And also feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section.